experimental teaching case applying gamification technologies and virtual reality for learning building engineering 3D apps. Uh, actually, we are a group of uh, teachers that uh, uh, we are um, applying uh, 3D technologies, augmented reality, uh, virtual reality, and uh, tools, uh, uh, informatic tools applies to architectural education, city building education, and multimedia education uh, in uh, La Salle, La Salle in, in Barcelona. This is the schedule of the presentation. That's the main objectives of the, this project. Apply application techniques in 3D arts uh, because we think that it's a Good technology, so this is a very interesting group of, uh, to, for engage the students and to have the students more motivation in the classroom. Because we are, because these technologies uh, are very useful for uh, our students. Uh, in the first course, for example, we explain AutoCAD to begin with 2D. From, uh, to arrive to a 3D representation. Um, they need to know uh, and to evaluate the 3D space of, a, for example, a building, uh, urban planning, uh, and a civil design. What's the, the problem? That the, in previous years, all the information was in printed uh, plans, in uh, mock -ups, uh, physical mock ups. Uh, Typical representation in architecture and building design, but there is a very expensive system because uh, an A2 plan or A1 plan uh, or a mock-up uh, is very, very, very expensive. And if you need to change something of this information, is uh, you have a, you need to adopt a long time and it's very uh, slow in process. And with these technologies using informatic tools, we think that it's better because uh, the, 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 work, the workflow is more quick. And the students um, are engaged to using uh, these types of technologies, uh, for example, using mobile devices or laptops or tablets to give the information and to gain with the information. I think that it's very easy to define uh, what's the gamification of the game kindness to any project in their situation. It's not a game, it's a serious game. Uh, maybe the main objective is uh, in the engagement and the motivation of the students. Uh, of course, promote uh, a long student rotation of the information and the, uh, and the uh, subject. The use of gamification in technologies for enhancing the learning process uh, with both children in 3D architectural subjects. Tools and technology. I explained that in the first course we can make a little uh, gamification using augmented reality, but in the second course uh, we think that the students need to uh, improve your comprehension in the 3D space. Uh, in this project we think that, okay, we will use the Sketchfab. Uh, this is a tool to view 3D on the web. It's very easy because if we are working with AutoCAD or 3D Studio, uh, the, uh, the, the link to the sketch file is direct. And we don't need to convert the files with a uh, loss of information. It's very easy. And uh, the <coughs> students have two options to view the information of the model viewing on the web using the sketch file. Or for example, in this case, uh, with the 3 engine of Unity, to modify the model to view with virtual reality using, for example, uh, the Oculus Rift uh, glasses. This, the study will be performed during this uh, past year, academic uh, year, in a building engineering degree, uh, an architectural degree, on the subject architectural. Uh, of satisfying maybe this uh, novel like uh, feeble journey. On the subject of drawing techniques, two is the second course uh, subject at La Sagrama University, a six credit uh, course. 
with uh, 65 students enrolling in this experiment. The context, uh, what is? All years, we uh, select um, a case studies uh, at very um, representative uh, houses of building around the world, also with uh, very representative uh, architects. And uh, the students uh, need to represent some uh, buildings or some uh, plans or some information related to, to, to the architect or to the engineer. In this case, in this year, uh, the students participate in relationship with uh, the house Das Canoas of uh, Oscar Niemeyer in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. This is one of the houses uh, using one film of Rajay Bon. Other thing to engage uh, the students. Oh, okay, you can see this film and you can see this house. Um, you have more information about this house here. Oh, the students, uh, practically all the students, uh, see the film. What's the film of uh, James Bond to view the house in uh, in a complex? The students share this information, and the first steps is to model the house using AutoCAD or Revit, Revit architecture. The second step, using 3D Max, they need to uh, make the illumination and texturize, texturize the, 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 the building. After that, uh, they need to use uh, Photoshop to make a representation, a representation. This is a panel, a tube size. And finally, with the model finalized, they, uh, they began to uh, begin to, to, to work with the virtual reality tasks and the magnification systems. The faculty the teachers, uh, we made something like this. This is a uh, scenario. Maybe we can see the uh, Iceland. And the students, uh, they need to choose one of the locations. And in this location, they will put uh, in their house. What is the system? Finally, they can to, uh, navigate inside this uh, context to view the other options of the other students, the other house, and they can um, make a, an evaluation, an assessment, what is the house, what is the building, what is the best modelized, what is the best illumination, uh, and for example, if they have other types of buildings, what is the better for, for the island will be thanks on the gamification techniques and the use of 3D tools. And for the creation of the island, the researchers design a master plan with parcels, number, market, and assignment for each student. Um, the first step, uh, the design, for example, um, they can use uh, the first house of uh, Oscar Niemeyer, or they can design uh, of the building to put in the in the asset to, to make the gamification model. Uh, once the job is designed and put in 3D, students will upload the design for SketchUp, visualizing a work for process in 3D to ensure that the model meets the prerequisites and so the model for further development. Finally, uh, they mm, put the, the model, for example, you can view here the parts that are assigned uh, to the students, the 42 and 43, and with a combination of Revit 3D Max, and finally assembled uh, with a 3D Max for geometry optimization, optimization. Uh, they pitch uh, in the Sketchpad and Unity to view both in a uh, web uh, system or using of those You can see here an example where the students work in these systems, and this is a final um, screenshot of uh, they can see using the Oculus Rift when are uh, walking in our uh, Iceland and viewing, uh, for example, this uh, building and designed by other students of the of the group. There are some different possibilities to view uh, the information. Um, we have a, a little sample, and now we are designing, it's very difficult to, to make the evaluation of these systems, and the evaluation, if they have 
better skills or 3D skills uh, and competent competencies using this system, something like uh, was mentioned uh, before. Uh, we uh, are working three years ago with a system used in uh, psychology uh, that uh, for us we think that it's very interesting because we have a lot of information using uh, qualitative uh, assessment using the bipolar battery. This is a test uh, designed by the use uh, laboratory, laboratory of uh, LASAI. And uh, we ask to the students uh, that remarks the three positive elements and the three negative elements, the first step of the experience. The second step is, okay, you need to put an evaluation of uh, the positive and the negative element. And the third step, okay, a solution of give me an idea to improve, for example, if you put an, a seven to this point, okay, why not an eight? Why not nine? Why not 10? What do you think that we can improve to uh, this point that you uh, put on a seven in the first, in the next year we can go to arrive uh, to the ten? And the students give us uh, some information about the weakness and uh, most important things. For example, viewing the positive common elements, uh, positive cons uh, are the elements who have a uh, the students repeat in their answers. <coughs> For example, uh, we can see that uh, the use of virtual reality, 90% of the students uh, consider that it's a very interesting uh, tool and we have, uh, with a uh, score uh, very high. Now, for example, using a multi-edge technology, this other, uh, other point with a high emission index and uh, show us that it's very interesting. Uh, the students wants to uh, use more than one device, more than one technology uh, to compare what is a better option because we are on a subject, more technology to learn or to, uh, to make an education with the tools. When you arrive to other subjects, like projects, like uh, construction, like uh, uh, urban design, you decide if you need to use this uh, technology or not. The teacher <laughs> uh, and you to make the decision. We have only the, the idea to show what is uh, what the options that I think that we think that is better for you. And for example, in a negative uh, part, negative common elements, you take time for ready 3D. This is a very interesting thing. Um, the first years of uh, the Bologna process. Uh, we have uh, we had a, a very long practice, and the students, oh, this is very long. I don't lie. We have to spend a lot of time. Uh, okay, now the students say, oh, we spend a lot of time, but we need more time. I need more time. I like to have more time because I like to make this uh, process. Okay, the motivation is better, and the results of this practice is that we have. Uh, best uh, scores, best values, best, uh, best uh, uh, assessment of the, of the students. Of course, there is other options. If we uh, search for a uh, high mention index, for example, this one, 60%, loss of <coughs> contents, all information that you can uh, represent in 2D or 3D plans on a mock-up, maybe it's more exactly that when you need to build, to move a lot of uh, geometry, and maybe you need to simplify uh, simplify uh, the, the, the model. Uh, finally, uh, we think that uh, these teaching methodologies uh, uh, using different environments uh, improve the creativity, the creativity of the students and the comprehension of the special uh, space that we think that is very important for, for this type of uh, students. Um, the technology such as Unity or Sketchfab and devices such as Oculus Rift as well as a tablet or maybe uh, Google Glass. Um, it's an interesting technology and the students want to use uh, uh, these uh, devices and increase the motivation and the standard of the course. 
and in their academic performance. I have an, an own study in the first course uh, I presented the, the, the last year, I think, and we have to compare uh, the five past years. This year I don't have time to, to extract all the information. And we have arrived to the conclusion that the academic performing using planification or using enhanced technologies, uh, virtual reality, augmented reality, uh, finally, the academic performance is better to the student. And finally, the idea of the students to develop and organize an Iceland, they see them something like a standardized curriculum because they are working with something that in a five, six years maybe is the reality. They are making something real to make the, the planification, to build the, the house, and to collocate, localize the, the, the information. It's, we think that the final uh, solution is very, very interesting, and uh, the students are very happy to, to use these. Uh, Terminologies.